Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be working on, on my car. I call it Old Faithful. I've had it now 11 years. Uh, it's got almost 300,000 Ks on the clock and uh, having starting to have a little bit of issues here and there. Um, an issue that I picked up lately is the it doesn't want to open the boot. So there's two components in the boot. There's a micro switch behind the handle and then there's an actuator and uh, it is a common fault on on vw cars or this car in particular um, that the actuator stops stops working so i've already bought one um, i'm hoping i'm right and haven't wasted my money we're going to strip it um, internally uh, get behind the, the switch test the, the micro switch uh, check the actuator swap the actuator out and uh, hopefully then it will be sorted yeah you can see cars unlocked and then sometimes the boot doesn't want to work even if I unlock the boot so you see the symbol there's a boot if I press and hold the boot should be unlocked that doesn't want to unlock so what I've been having to do lately to actually unlock the boot or to get into the boot is I've got to jump inside the car and open the boot from the inside which I'm sure, as you can imagine, is quite a pain. So let's get this sorted. To get this off, there's a star screw inside there. I'm not sure if you can see, and there's another one inside there. There you go. I bought this body panel clip set off uh, the internet. I'll leave the link in the description below. I'm going to be trying these tools out to take the panel off. Sorry for the noise in the background. There seems to be a tracking alley flying over our area. Must be a stolen call or something. There we go, that's off. Gonna put this aside. And there we can see that is the micro switch and there's the actuator that pushes the lever to open the boot. From all the research, I've heard that that goes faulty. So I'm gonna take both out and we're gonna test that. Well, actually test the micro switch to make sure we're getting continuity and contact to it. And then I'll put the new one, uh, new actuator in. And then to get the actuator off the bracket is just a T20 Torx. There's two of them. And then we've got our part. There's the old part. You can see the part number is uh, 3BO9597 81C. And uh, here's the aftermarket part, which is, there's the part number for the, the aftermarket, but there's the original part number. So if I open that and have a look, they look identical, or well, mostly it's just this little bit here that's different. I bought it from Goldwachen, which is a parts, they sell VW and ID parts in South Africa, and it cost me 335 bucks. You'll see uh, this one is missing these uh, brass collets, um, so there's no threading on that. So I just bought um, some stainless steel screws, washers and a, a lock nut that I'm going to put through the entire bracket and uh, tighten onto there. So that basically mounts like that. It's an idea. We've got washer, stainless screw, go through like that.
tighten that up. Okay, before I put it all back together, I just need to test this micro switch. Um, I don't think it's a micro switch because the common fault on them is the actuator. But let's have a look quickly. Okay, that was me. I went off the pins. But I think the micro switch is fine. So let's put it back together. Okay, to put it back together, it's obviously just the reverse of what we did to take it apart. So I'm going to do that quickly. Okay, then to plug it back in. Here you can see everything's back together. The new actuators in, the original micro switch, and then not. that's how it pretty much works. It pushes that lever down. Let's test it before we close it up. Let's give it a test and see if it works. Everything's tight. Ah, oh, awesome. Can close it back up. back together it's just to put the two screws back in and that is complete I'm actually quite glad that's sorted now. It's less of a headache having to constantly climb in through the car to open my boot. And if my boot was full, it was a mission. I'm sure you can understand. Thank you very much for watching the video all the way to the end. You can see how pretty easy it was to, to fix this problem. I became quite a headache. Um, so I'm quite glad it's sorted now. And uh, yeah, if you enjoyed the video, uh, please consider liking and subscribing. And uh, as always, leave me your thoughts in the comments below. See you in the next video.